who were the original rock stars and does Paridolia hold the key to creativity itself? Welcome to the Perfection Selection of Green McCards TV. <coughs> If you like time traveling, then subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the like button to preserve our heritage for future generations. Scientists put a number of people into a darkened room and randomly flash lights on and off in a chaotic dancing frenzy. What's interesting is that the subjects perceive patterns in the lights even though they were completely randomly generated. Acts reminiscent of our cavemen ancestors gazing up at the night sky and seeing mythical heroes, creatures and gods in the star constellations. Our brains have evolved into sophisticated pattern recognition machines that can see faces and pictures in random data known as pareidolia. Salvador Dali was much more than an artist. While searching through old photos and paperwork to inspire him, he stumbled across this curious postcard image of an African village. But when he turned it round, a profile of a mysterious face, eyes and lips seemed to magically appear, inspiring the creation of this painting. It wasn't the first person to notice strange faces in the most unlikely of places. In fact, some say that our three million year old ancestors probably had the Paraidonia bug as well, as this crude face-shaped pebble found in an ancient South African cave suggests. The artist of these curious looking postcards takes the role of the magician as they transform portraits of once important people into explosive orgies of naked bodies on these early 20th century postcards. No prizes for guessing where Salvador Dali might have got his idea for this visual paradox then. Often when we're online to check out whether we're robots or not, we're asked to decipher strings of distorted characters because bots find it incredibly difficult to interpret visual data. Cracking this is perhaps the holy grail of artificial intelligence itself. This is probably why Google is desperately trying to train its AI to correctly identify the images in its image searches rather than relying on error-prone user-entered tags and titles. Interestingly, a spin-off of the project, Deep Dream, does the complete opposite by purposefully incorrectly perceiving strange faces and creatures and actually exaggerating them so much that they morph into a kind of swinging 60s psychedelic art form. Paradolia is probably inextricably linked to our human creativity since being able to see what doesn't already exist yet is surely the definition of imagination. Now that you've seen that video, you might want to click on these other video adventures.